identifying mentorship and, and um, you know, topics of interest helps set people up for success in, in their careers in the future. Yeah, I think I think that is that is very profound in that um, there are only few PhD programs that are, you know, flexible enough to to get students on board and then allow the students to explore um, the kind of, um, you know, expertise that are in the school and, you know, their research interests to to carve a path for themselves. Um, most PhD programs will, you know, will assign you an advisor even before you get to the program. So it becomes difficult to, to kind of switch and, and decide um, when your interest changes. Um, so I want us to to discuss a bit uh, about the, the program, you know, what what specific programs? I know there's, um, there's a master's degree and there's a PhD option. What are the um, major offers th that are available in the school? Yeah, so, I mean, there's, you know, in our department, there are some programs outside of, of what we're talking about here. Like the, I'm the director of the, the PhD program and specifically the MS in pharmaceutical health economics and okay. uh, policy. Mm -hmm. There is a, in our department, we do offer uh, masters in healthcare decision analysis, um, biopharmaceutical marketing. Uh, our program, the program, uh, the PhD and the MS program are more um, research oriented, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, so I think from the PhD standpoint, you know, we're, we're looking at people who want to go into um, academia, government, industry, uh, you know, consulting. We, we send students really to kind of all areas. Um, the MS program is, I would say, it's, it's largely for uh, a couple of people. One is, you know, someone who wants to ultimately um, and, uh, join a PhD program, either mm -hmm. ours or another's, but something in with a health economics focus, but maybe needs to demonstrate some additional, you know, either take some additional coursework or demonstrate some research uh, capabilities that for whatever reason they're, you know, they haven't quite, uh, they don't feel comfortable, you know, applying for the PhD program yet. Uh, that's sort of one Avenue. The other, I think, is for the MDs, the PharmDs out there who are interested mm -hmm. in, in developing a research um, facility uh, and in learning more about economics, um, being able to read and, and produce research. Um, and so we also give some opportunity for them as well. Okay.